Okay, this video shows four of my previous projects linked together to show how energy can be moved from one circuit to another. Now, it starts with this one. This is the uh, Bedini Exciter. Now, I've made a previous video on this which shows a circuit diagram if anybody's interested, but the performance is incomparable with uh, a Slayer Exciter. So anybody who's got a Slayer Exciter can do exactly what I'm doing today. So this is the uh, Bedini Exciter, and it's emitting a wireless field all the way around it, which you can see there. Now, is what this does, it doubles up as a Bedini motor as well, but to actually uh, get it to do what I want it to do today, I've had to turn the potentiometers right up, which puts the Bedini circuit into self-oscillation mode. So usually I have a little magnet spinning on here, but it won't spin one today because the uh, frequency is too high. Anyway, this is uh, transmitting energy across the room here to this rectangle receiver circuit, well, re rectangle receiver coil, sorry, and that's feeding energy into a uh, capacitor which is stored here and then that's running this small one magnet no bearing Bedini motor and in turn that's spinning a satellite generator so there's four projects here and energy is being moved from the very start of the chain to here and the first circuit, the Bedini Exciter, is drawing 22 milliamps at 4.5 volts. So it's a daisy chain from here to here to here to there. I'll be back in a minute. I'll set some more satellites up and we'll uh, see what they can do. OK, I'm back. Now, it's exactly the same setup as before, but I've upped the voltage to 16 volts and the current draw now is uh, 84 milliamps. So, same setup as before with the uh, Bedini Exciter transmitting energy to this rectangle coil into a capacitor, into a small one magnet bearing Bedini motor and now I've set up a load of satellites all the way around this uh, one magnet bearing Bedini motor and they're being spun by the flux field from that rotor. Now it's spinning really, really fast this uh, rotor and it's too quick for a stable satellite like I had before here. Now I've removed the, steel, uh, the uh, small neo magnet from that so now that's acting as a pick up coil just resting against the side of uh, one of these containers with a little sphere spinning around like billion. And you can see uh, the energy coming off that pick up coil. Now you can actually double up on these, uh, I can put another one next to that so you can have two doing the same uh, pickup coil. That's two working the same pickup coil now. But I think I found a way to uh, get a stable satellite to spin at high speed, so that might be coming up in the uh, a video soon. But uh, it's just interesting how energy can be uh, moved from one place to another. Now all these satellites here can generate energy. It's just that I haven't got any pickup coils to utilise it. Okay, folks, that's all today for today. Thanks for watching.